This video is sponsored by Ubisoft. Or Ubisoft, I still don't know. Immortals Phoenix Rising is a massive open world adventure set in Greek mythology. Hey! Who is that? Uh, um, anyway, it's a really fun game. Not unlike Breath of the Wild in many aspects, from the ability to climb over everything to- Now, no, seriously, who's who's talking right now? Uh, are you are you talking to me? Uh, I, I sure am, buddy. Oh, sh oh, sorry, man. No, no, I'm I'm the narrator. The the narrator. The a, nar a narrator? Yeah, like of this story, I guess. Yeah, nah, this isn't a story. This is my video. I don't exactly need help or narration here. Yeah, but yeah, you know, the game is humorously narrated by Zeus and Prometheus, so I figured it'd be kind of funny if, like, the video was as well. Yeah, you know what? I, I kind of like that. All right, go on then, do your thing. Uh, hello? Uh, oh, sorry, are you talking to me? This is gonna be a nightmare. <laughs> I'm what? Not, really? Sorry. You, you no, go. you go. No, no, you, no, you, no, you, you go. No, I, please, I insist. Immort I, come on, man. Sorry, I, I'm just messing with you now. Immortals Phoenix Rising is easily one of the best Nintendo Switch releases. Not just this year, but so far. From a technical standpoint, it is a marvel to behold. Visually extremely clean, and gameplay as smooth as a salami sandwich. No, no, but really smooth gameplay. <laughs> Fun fact, this part of the video was filmed a day later because Wood forgot to tell you to click the link down below to check out the game. He'd really appreciate it. Okay, I did actually, that's a thing. Uh, click the link down below to check out and play this awesome game. With help from Ubisoft, I've already made two videos on my channel playing Immortals Phoenix Rising early. Those were really fun collaborations for me. But I know that people can be apprehensive when they hear the word sponsored. You shill. Yeah, like that. But I want to make this perfectly clear. All thoughts and opinions in this video are my own. And mine. Yeah, and his. For starters, I am a Nintendo Switch channel. So with the minimal releases on Nintendo Switch this year, I was gonna talk about Immortals Phoenix Rising anyway. Plus, I've been excited for it since it was revealed like 19 years ago. Well, like a year ago. Yeah, I'm being a bit dramatic, but I've been waiting a long time. But to be even more transparent, here's what I'm going to do. Ubisoft is super chill about all of these videos I've been doing. In fact, this time, they only wanted me to mention five things. And those five things are all just facts. Facts about the game they wanted pointed out. It's not putting words in my mouth, it's just literally, can you mention these things? So, this is for you, Ubisoft. <coughs> I present to you the Five Commandments from Up High! Otherwise known as the Five Talking Points from Ubisoft's marketing team. Yeah, I mean, it's way less cooler that way. Number one! Immortals Phoenix Rising is set in the world of Greek mythology, where you'll encounter the gods of Olympus and fight mythical beasts like Medusa, the Minotaur, and Cyclops. Oh, come on, Ubisoft, we can spice that up a little bit. Yeah. That doesn't even do it justice, Ubisoft. It's way cooler than that. <laughs> Not only do you encounter the gods of Olympus, you have to help them out of sticky, sometimes humorous situations. Like Ares, the god of war, who is cursed and turned into a chicken. Nobody calls me chicken. And now he's scared of, ironically, the one thing that he's known for, fighting. Oh. <clears throat> Number two. Progression and customization. You're doing great, sweetie. Aw, thanks. Customize your hero, earn skills and godlike powers, upgrade weapons and armor as you progress in game. Okay, this is one of my favorite parts about the game, actually. As you play, you unlock all of these armor sets, weapons with varying abilities, wing skins, mounts, and more by exploring the world, finding hidden chests, puzzles, or completing main and side story missions. You can equip whatever you want to gain its abilities, but if you don't love the way it looks, you can customize anything to look like anything else you've already discovered, giving you complete control over how you look and what abilities you have, which is a really nice touch. Number three, exploration. Ha oh, ha, this is my favorite part. Is that getting annoying yet? Because it's bothering me a little bit. <laughs> 
You'll get to explore seven unique regions at any pace, in any order, inspired by different Greek gods, and discover a variety of puzzle bolts and mysteries. That's a small dot point that's going to take a while to break down. There is a lot here. So yes, you have this massive map that instantly becomes your playground to explore, discover, and traverse as you see fit. So go out there and collect mushrooms for your stamina or pomegranates for your health. No pomegranates! Um, pomegranates for your health. No, 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 no pomegranates! That lady does not like pomegranates. So you're tasked with helping a, a god in each area, so that they may in turn help you defeat Typhon. Aphrodite is the closest at the start of the game, so I helped her first, exploring that area a lot early on. But if you wanted, you could just beeline right to the top of the map and start there. Although, I will say, each of these gods will gift you awesome new abilities when you help them. So by starting with Aphrodite, she gave me an ability that allowed me to come back to life one time before dying, and that was a heaven sent. Ha, <laughs> literally. Well, yeah. Next, all the puzzles, vaults, and mysteries. <laughs> I can barely walk 20 seconds in this world without discovering something else to waste time on for 10 minutes. There's so many different types of challenges, but what I loved the most about all of them was that there never seemed to be a right way of doing something. Since you have so much control over the open environment, carrying whatever you want, climbing over whatever you want, it was really up to me how I solved everything my way. And I did it. My way. Hey, that was actually pretty good. <laughs> like this one time, I was doing a bull puzzle and I accidentally yeeted one into space and couldn't find it for a while. And when I finally did, uh, it was rolling down a hill into another area. Nope, 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 nope. Get back here. Where are you going? Don't. Oh, of all the places to land, you have to land right here with a big scary thing. Oh my gosh. Uh, now my ball. My ball! I just want to take my ball and go home. I've got my mom's calling me. Goodbye. Uh, <laughs> god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, I'm a witch at the top. Leave me alone. A bear. A bear. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, this time I'm going to be real sneaky. All right, I got it. Now it's time to get out of here and hopefully no. Oh, man. No, 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 no. No! <laughs> oh, I'm dead. Oh, thank you, Aphrodite. This time I'm just gonna kill everything. Wham, bam! See you later, ma'am! Okay, this is my ball, and I won't drop it for any other reason. Oh, a mushroom. I need those. Hey! Yeah! <laughs> yes, finally! Uh, I can't believe this took like 20 minutes! And that's the wrong hole. What was I doing? Well, I, I believe you said it was the list of commandments from way, way up at Ubi's or oh, something like that. Oh, that's right. <clears throat> uh, it was number four. Ah, I, I got, got it. it. Number four. Oh, oh this, this one's, one's easy. Immortals Phoenix Rising releases on December 3rd. So, to, today, if, if I get, get it up on time. On Stadia, Xbox, Xbox Series X, Xbox, Xbox One, PlayStation, PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, PC, and of course, Nintendo Switch. Switch. I feel like I should add though, this game features cross saves, which uh, oh my Greek god, I've been having so much fun with this. This is my first time getting to try out cross saves. Ubisoft sent me an Xbox Series X code as well. Oh, two codes, must be very nice. Yeah, it is actually. And let me tell you, I've been having a blast. It's so easy to do. Whenever I'm done playing on my Switch, I can just upload my save like this, then switch to my Xbox and play that save. It's perfect for if I'm planning to play on my TV anyway, because as fantastic as this game does look on Switch, it really pops in 4K on my Xbox. Also, it gives you a reason to actually play your Xbox Series X. But he said it, not me. All right, one Ubisoft commandment left. Yeah. You know, I gotta say, I kinda like doing it this way. It actually makes my job a ton easier. Can I do the last one? Oh, I sure you can, buddy. You know, over the last 10 minutes, I kinda feel like we've built a pretty strong connection. Almost, uh, a friendship. One that I think 
you know, if we worked at it, we could really build something beautiful out of it. Um, oh, sorry, what? I wasn't listening. Did you say something? Oh, nothing. Here, you just read the last one. <clears throat> okay, so the fifth one. Uh, we're, uh, here we are. The Season Pass. Be sure to check out Immortals Phoenix Rising Season Pass. It includes three narrative-based DLCs with new heroes and a new world inspired by Chinese mythology. Uh, this one sounds interesting, actually. Yeah, it is, actually. I really haven't seen DLC done this way before. This isn't just some throwaway add-on content. All of these DLCs are huge, varying expansions. The first is a big expansion to the main game, adding in new story content. The second features an entirely new world and new hero based in Chinese mythology. Have you ever seen something like this? DLC being essentially a whole new game. Well, uh, whether you have or haven't seen this before, Ubisoft just did it twice. Because the third DLC is another new hero and a brand new top-down style of gameplay with a new progression system that allows you to create your own playstyle. Oh, and with that, our hero concludes his video with Immortals Phoenix Rising and sets out on his next no, perilous no, journey to- No, 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 oh. that was just me riffing off the dot points that Ubisoft gave me. I, I still want to do my thing. There's like a load more to talk about. Oh. My bad. Sorry, I'm Jump the gun. useless. I'll just, I'll just leave. I'll just go. I'll just, I'll Come just get on. out of here. <laughs> Stay. I'm just saying the video's not. You're doing great. I know it's, it's a little annoying having to do this back and forth through the whole video, but I, I mean, I think, I think it's fun. Hopefully, because I have to edit this. <laughs> Stay, come on. We're, we're friends. Oh, okay, thanks. I appreciate it. <laughs> You're welcome. I've lost my damn mind. It's isolation, man. I can't go outside and do skits. I'm literally in my own head now. My own personal experience with Immortals Phoenix Rising has been a joyous one. I had already played countless hours of the game when I worked with Ubisoft recording those gameplay videos, but both times I didn't actually have the game. I was just streaming off random save files. This time I was able to get the full experience, starting the game from the beginning as a weak little non-cheating human boy. Kind of like you in real life. Hey, I, I work out. <laughs> When's the last time you lifted? Shut up. <laughs> I, I let you stay around. You, don't heckle me. You create and customize your own character. Then you set out in hopes of finding a way to turn your brother and everyone else back from stone. You start by finding weapons from the gods hidden behind challenges. Then once you have them equipped, you go to work leveling them up and finding new weapons by exploring the world and completing challenges or defeating enemies. Your ultimate goal is to defeat Typhon, one of the deadliest creatures in Greek mythology, and free the world from his grimy grasp. But just like any good adventure game, you'll spend most of your time messing around with chickens and secret areas. <laughs> Can I say that I really enjoyed how much Greek lore they used in the story? They spun it all into a very fun comedic adventure. It was worth every yeah, the narration in the game is great, as it's technically all just one big story being told by Prometheus to Zeus. Their quips and comments about what's going on is always entertaining, and there's a lot of fourth wall humor, like Prometheus pretending the game is over before it even begins. Meeting the gods you have to save is always amusing, as they have such big personalities, and when they come together, it makes for some... interesting conversations. Are you all God again? Not a feather. Oh. What is it? Even, um, you know, nothing chickeny remains. I am all God, sweet Aphrodite. Why do you ask? Ask? Oh, no, it's nothing. Uh, maybe some fantasies are best left unfulfilled, I suppose. <laughs> Early on, I found the game pretty challenging. The combat in particular, and I played on normal. Is also hard and very hard. I resorted to a lot of uh, not partaking in the combat directly, but throwing a bunch of rocks at enemies to break their guard. And reaching places was difficult due to my limited stamina. It was so rewarding to just spend hours up at night in bed, grinding out the hidden areas, looking for ambrosia pieces to improve my health, diving into what feels like hundreds of very different challenge vaults across the map to acquire Zeus bolts that improve my stamina, defeating enemies and unlocking chests to level up my weapons and potion making abilities and solving the numerous puzzles around the world to gain coins 
had to breathe that you can use to improve your skills. Go on, go on. You wanna say what? it? I know you wanna say it. What? Doesn't this game remind you of another game that you really like that's also on the Switch? Oh, yeah, no, I get what you're getting at, and yeah, but no, not not as much anymore. It does and it doesn't. The more time I've spent with Immortals Phoenix Rising, the more I've realized it doesn't really feel like Breath of the Wild. They are actually both pretty different games. I mean, sure, right from the start, and if you compare notes, they seem similar. Immortals has clearly taken inspiration from Zelda, as well as some other games, and I think that in itself is awesome. With the climbing, gliding, challenge vaults, the do anything you want in any order mentality, there's even times when the sky turns red and you become hunted by shadow versions of Greek gods, which is pretty fun. <laughs> did you? Did you just burp? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Gross. <laughs> Maybe uh, mute your mic next time? He said sorry. <sighs> But once you start getting into the heat of the story and deep into the game, it really does flesh itself out as its own unique experience. The world is chocked full of things to do, the personality and humorous tone set by the constant narration and in-game characters is a lot of lighthearted fun, the combat is clearly its own action-packed thing, oh and your weapons don't break! <laughs> Oh, thanks, Zeus. Immortals Phoenix Rising is the perfect Switch game, and I mean that. I mean, yeah, it'll be fun no matter where you play it, but it's right at home on the Switch. And I believe that Nintendo fans will really enjoy this game. So, <clears throat> are you done now? Yes, I am. And with that, our hero concluded his adventure and video with Immortals Phoenix Rising. All right, cool. W what does that mean for us now? W what do you mean? What does it mean for us? Well, I mean... That's, that's it. That's the video, right? Well, yeah, but, you know, I'll, I'll be back next video, right? Well, well, no, because this shtick really only works for this, this game in particular. I probably won't need you again. Oh, okay. No, I, I see how it is. All right. Fine. Help you out the entire video. No, it's fine. It's fine. I'm not getting paid or anything, but it's fine. I'll leave. I'll show myself out. Good luck in the next video. You're ugly anyway. Wow. <laughs> uh, thank you Ubisoft for sponsoring the video. You know, it's really quiet now. Obviously, there'll be a link down below if you want to check out the game. I'd really appreciate it. It helps support the channel. And also, it's just a really fun game that's out now. Play it. Get involved. Be a part of it. It's a lot of fun. Uh, cl click on one of these videos, I guess. Like, subscribe. You know, most of you that watch my videos aren't subscribed. Why? Fix that, please. All right. I never really left. It's my channel now. Hmm.